Hello again, everybody. It's Blackheart6 again, and we're going to do another uh, quick video. Um, there was a request on the uh, Discord about how to randomly spawn in targets for a shoot house and then uh, reset the shoot house by deleting all the targets and then have them spawn in and just keep looping through that. Um, there is a way to do that within the scenario framework. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you place down, here's, here's our little shoot house here, if you can imagine it. Um, you place an area, uh, nothing special going on here, you know, um, don't worry about that radius, it doesn't impact it. Um, you're not doing anything other than all and on a knit. Then you place a layer, um, set that layer. Uh, this is going to be for your targets. Random multiple, here I have it set to 50%. And then set to on trigger activation. I have another layer over here. It is going to be the start trigger. Um, same as parent, nothing special there. And then I put another layer in here. Um, this is going to be the stop trigger. Uh, nothing special there, default setup. And then what you want to do is, so when you go through the shoot house, you should always have one way in, one way out, right? You don't want to come back to your, to your uh, start point. Um, so at your stop point, we're going to do at the end here. At your stop point, you want to create a... Uh, put a trigger in there, a slot trigger. And what I did was, first of all, I just showed this hint to say that it triggered so I could test. Um, I put a delete entity for every entity that I have in my shoot house. So I have five entities, so I put five deletes. I have tried six ways to Sunday to try to delete them as a group. I don't know how to do that, or I can't get it to work. And, um, it doesn't doesn't seem to delete anything if you try to do the whole layer. So I did it one at a time. So if you've got you know 20 entities, it's you got to, it's going to be rough. But you can use you know copy and then paste uh, into the new entity and change the number. And so each one of these is set up as get spawned entity and then the slot. Um, I know it says layer name, but that's not what it takes. You got to delete the slot uh, by name. So one, two, three, four, five. I've got each one of these set up to do that. And then the other item you want to add is restore layer to default. So you use a getter of get layer base and you restore the layer that the targets are in. Okay. So restore the layer to default, getter get layer base layer name of the the base the layer that the targets are in include children and reinit afterwards and then this here is a standard plug-in trigger player i've got it set to five meters um make sure you uncheck once so this repeats and that's pretty much it so then for your start uh trigger you, same thing, trigger any player slow. Um, on trigger action, you activate layer one. This spawns in your initial group. And that's all you have to do there. Um, and then make sure, once again, that it's set to uh, once is unchecked. Okay, so let's run through it. So as you can see, I got my triggers so they're turned on. So there's no no targets there. We step in, we have targets pop up. Step out. Kill the targets. Now I've got them so that they will stay down and not re-pop back up again. And then you come through. The targets have de uh, deleted. So we go out of here.
Come back around. And there's targets again. They delete. Come back around. And we just keep looping back around and the new set of targets will pop in. Okay. That is how you do that. And we'll just do it one more time. Show you they do pop in. There they go. Okay. Hope you uh, got something out of that. Appreciate it.